getting in back in to the FJ Cruiser to take the valve covers off. Is that what they're called? Whatever. These two top covers. And first, you know, take out the spark plugs. There's a bunch of bolts that go all around these metal covers. And then the wiring harness is the biggest pain. You just have to take all these clips off, raise it up, raise them up, and kind of push it to the side when you're taking off the covers. So I'm going to use an impact, but actually I had to use a socket wrench to get a few of them because they're in tight spots and they were, the bolts aren't on that, that bad at all. Not stuck too much. It's such a joy to work on an engine where every bolt isn't rusted in. Like all the cars from New York. Gosh. Love Florida. Okay, got the bolts out, ready to free that up. There's a little gasket around in there, which I'll show you after I get this up. There's three bolts down the center, by the, in between the spark plugs as well. And I'll need two hands to do this, so camera off. All right, got the first one off. So there's the gas that goes all the way around and by each spark plug tunnel. And look at this thing, it's got some rust, some surface rust in here, and black burned on soot, oil. Give it a little scratch here, you can see my rubber glove. All stuff comes off. I don't know, is that what it's supposed to look like? Who's, who's the expert here, not me? I'm just digging down looking for the problem. And from here you can see where all the lobes are and therefore where all the valves are. And you can't tell if the valves are bent really, but you can look in the spark plug holes and see how deep the cylinders are and check the firing order with the position of the lobes. You know, checking if, if each cylinder is in this exhaust cycle compression or intake cycle. Or, yep. So there I can see down to the piston heads. I mean, yeah, what I said earlier, just whatever. Look at the pistons. Nobody's perfect, man. Okay, I got the other side off and discovered some weird looking gunk down in here, which I wasn't happy about. And I'll show you later. Just looking at all of these, see what kind of shape they're in. Those beautiful lobes. I got some more crust on them as well. It kind of fell down from the top cover. So the fuel rail, it's actually really easy to pull off. I thought the whole thing would be metal, as I've seen on others, but these are just plastic tubes and there's a fuel injectors. You can see they're all clogged up with white, gunky, red, old, nasty gas, lean particles. Try to rub it off, it doesn't come out. So clean your fuel injectors. Maybe you won't have the problem this thing had. If your gas can't get into the engine, your engine can't make much power. Okay, so this gunkety tar that's in here. What in tar nation is this stuff? Got some of it out, still have no idea what it is, but some, some of them are little chunks. And down here in the sprocket, between the chain, there's, or in the chain, there's a piece of junk caught in there. Let's see here, I'll grab it out. Ugh. Come on. Okay, let's look at this. Ooh. Okay. Crusty. Wipe it off with paper towel. It feels like plastic, it's flexible. The little fibers are from my paper towel. It's like brown plastic. I don't know if that's part of one of the guides or what it is. And then look at this little piece. It's riding, coming up vertically on the chain, riding its way up. So I haven't been able to grab that. Let's figure out what that is too later.